Contrary to what is believed, Bohol is not only known for the famous chocolate hills or the glittering waters of Alona Beach. Bohol is also known for its old churches, one of which is the pristine Baclayan Church. This is La Purisima Concepcion de la Virgen Maria Parish Church, commonly known as Baclayan Church, in the municipality of Baclayan, Bohol. This church was constructed in 1727 and considered second oldest church in the country. It's within the jurisdiction of the Roman Catholic Diocese of Tagbilaran. 1596 by the Jesuit Spanish. Yeah. Father Gabriel Sanchez and Juan de Torres. So it was made of wood by your first church until it became a parish in 1717. Then the present Coral Stone Church that was in 1727. So how how's the restoration process so far? Uh, the restoration is uh it was damaged during the 2013 earthquake, earthquake and it was restored by the National Historical Commission of the Philippines because this was declared also as historical landmark. So it uh, it was completed the restoration in 2017. Okay, tell us about this new. Uh, uh, actually, area. this uh, museum, formerly it was the rectory or convento of the priest and we just reopening last uh, October 15 because of the uh, pandemic before it was closed and it was the audit also came here and it was damaged the roofing. Mm. So, we just uh, uh, restored this building and was reopened this museum just this present October 15. More than 200 forced laborers built Baclayan Church out of coral stone and said to have been mixed with egg whites as cement. Baclayan is a declared national cultural treasure and national historic landmark. It is one of the Philippines' oldest Catholic Church, structurally original and still with authentic material, dating back in 1727. The town of Baclayan got its name from their tribal chieftain, Baclayan. The church sustained major damages with its collapse for Tico and Bell Tower during the 2013 Bohol earthquake. Bohol was epicenter of a powerful earthquake measuring 7.2 on the Richter scale which hit it on July 12 of 2013. Aside from the centuries-old Baclayan church which is deluged by tourists almost daily Baclayan Museum is another attraction of Baclayan. In fact, a visit to the church is not complete without a stopover at the museum. Housed inside the old convent adjacent to the church is the museum which displays religious artifacts during the Spanish colonial period. Among its collections are vestments, Latin hymnals with carabal skin covers, and sheepskin pages, images of statues of saints, ceremonial artifacts, and paintings by local artist Liberato Gachalian. The museum carries a handful of religious artifacts that, interestingly, showcase the legacy of the Spaniards left on our beloved island. Also showcase our life-sized images of saints and other relics that clearly portray the historic event of the Roman Catholic Church. Most of the images, especially their hands and heads, are made of ivory. Other pieces are those of Jesus Christ, the Crucified, looking towards the heavens, a statue of the Blessed Virgin Mary said to be presented by Queen Catherine of Aragon to the Spanish Curia, and relics of Saint Ignatius of Loyola. <music> 